last chance. Man, sex, man, sex, man, sex, man, sex, man, sex, man, sex. Thank you, thank you. Now I can leave him. I'm, I'm suddenly very uncomfortable. This panel is PG-43. Oh, Cosplay is not consent. I'm not worried. See you here to do Dragon Club. Everybody give some love See to Wookiee. The prettiest Wookiee I ever seen. <laughs> My name is Mary, and I'm a voice monkey. <laughs> well, I certainly can't top that. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> It's a thing. Yeah. Oh, what is this? <laughs> What's happening? Do something fun. Oh, uh. Nailed <laughs> 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 <Nails> it. <laughs> yeah, solid. I am a voice actor. <laughs> Look, it's my name! <laughs> Hello, my name is Ray Chase. Prepare for Q&A! Hey! Let's go! How was your con, everybody? Yeah. Woo us two, us two. Who here has slept? Yeah. Oh, wow. For us. Yeah. Alone? <laughs> no, it's just because they're all bunked up 14 to a room. That's yeah. the only reason. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's now time to close the doors and pump in the interesting gas. <laughs> you will soon begin to relax. You might experience a slight tingling of the extremities. All of your childhood worries and problems will be gone, along with most of your personality. <laughs> and all of your money. <laughs> Who has any money left, right? <laughs> We can help with that, for sure. <laughs> Four fingers is loaded over there. Oh my god. I have a dollar. So, you guys have questions? We have answers. Raise your hand. They may not match. Called the pot. They may not match. Oh, okay. I will. Yeah. Down front, please. Let's <laughs> all drone into the Hunger Games against each other. Who would win? If we did Hunger Games against each other, who would win? That was my first answer, Mary. Mary, were you doing that because you uh, volunteer as tribute? I, I volunteer as tribute! Ah! You, you're dead, 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 dead. Your brother, dead. Your mother, dead. All you guys, dead. I'm from Jersey, you're all dead. Well, uh, I'm, I'm brown, so I die in the first book. Uh, Immediately. <laughs> Kill the lovable brown guy. So and now we, we do appreciate your sacrifice. Yes. <laughs> because you're dead. <laughs> Next wonderful question. <laughs> yes, all the way in the back. Ooh, that was such a good fight. Wasn't that a good fight? So much history there, too. It was kind of sad. I had all of the feels. <laughs> all of them. All of the feels. All of the feels. It was pretty amazing. You know, it's got to be hard to fight your, your sensei, your senpai. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we like her and we don't like him, so. I love him and I think he's wonderful. She's a terrible rebel scum and she deserved to die. Dead. She's dead. You're dead. <laughs> Um, so you told me this story, but I don't think anybody else has heard it. Um, can you tell about when you got brought in for One Punch Man? Oh. Oh, thank you. I need to remove the mic for this one. Everyone, please bow your heads and pray. 
Um, I was called to come in as, you know, again, I, I'm quite fortunate in many cases where I don't audition, they just call me to come in for the job. And I went in and, it's, you know, bang, zoom, we, have, we know everybody. And, you know, I walk in, well, because you suck, that's why. Oh, I did I, is, is this thing on? Oh my God, right? Um, they brought me in and uh, they said, okay, well, here's your character. And they brought the picture up and I said, okay, time out. <laughs> It's like 99% Leo Mann. I said, well, I already know what voice to use, you know. And I said, oh, what, but what's going on with this? And uh, Mami uh, Okada is one of the uh, execs there, and she was in the room, and she got on the talk back. She said, uh, Paul, many of the character in this show are uh, uh, derivative. And I go, you think? <laughs> We did that in private time. <laughs> Are you just supposed to say, okay? Okay. 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 <laughs> Over here, please. Hi. Hi. love Roy in Super Smash Brothers. I feel like he's never been in a game before, and he really needs to be in one. Yeah, that'd be yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Leron from Gurren Lagann. Because it would be the ultimate slap fight. <laughs> uh, Yami Rialgo. I just smash and destroy everything in sight. <laughs> Well, but why is Spinny turn? Because someone has to lose. Aww. Uh, I'd be a movement rider and just ride right off the edge. <laughs> Every time. Just miss right off the edge. Yeah. I'd have Motoko go in and just have the touch coma do everything. <laughs> uh, really? I mean... <laughs> Do you need, even need to answer this one, or...? It's Saitama, though it's a one-punch man. They just literally just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Max, will you beatbox the Tetris theme again? Yeah. Yeah. Steve, because Steve came in late to the, pet, to the thing last night, and he, he didn't hear it. I tried to avoid it. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that part. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't do it with the mic. That's been in my head since last night. I just... <laughs> That'd be even cooler if you did that with your mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had a friend, I had a friend in high school who would like just call out songs for me to beatbox, even if, even if I didn't know him. But then it got so like, he liked, he favored one more than the other, and he was just like, circus! <laughs> so it'd be like, so it would, it would stop being like, you know, like, uh, like Britney Spears, and it would just be like, all of a sudden, circus! <laughs> Why that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted my ringtone so badly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would never answer the phone because I'd want to listen yeah. to it. <laughs> Everything goes to voicemail. Uh, uh, sir, back there. Um, for all of, all of you who have been captured, obviously, if there was a point where you were offered, like, you couldn't voice any other character besides the one that you voice, who would it be? All of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, the short answer is anyone they pay us for, but uh, uh, if I could, I'd love to uh, uh, voice a Spike Spiegel. <laughs> As Wormmon. <laughs> I want to be Hippolyta from uh, Wonder Woman. Like, I just want to be her. I don't know if they would, I would, they wouldn't have to pay me. I would pay them to just be her. 
So if anybody knows any good cosplayers who can uh, make me that outfit uh, before Halloween, just like text message me on the, on the Twitter and then we'll talk, because I want to be Hippolyta. Okay. <laughs> Is there such a thing as two punch man? Because I just want to be. Your <laughs> <laughs> Mine's completely not I hope he's fast. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's utterly non anime. But it's like, I'm not part of our plan to take over the world. Uh, I love the brain. I love him. I don't care who knows. It's a forbidden love. I don't care. I can't quit. <laughs> I, I'd love to be Tuxedo Mask just because Robbie gets to hang out with uh, cute anime girls every time. It's ridiculous. Not fair. That's not because I'm Tuxedo Mask. It's <laughs> because I'm me. There's an app for that. Uh, I would want to be Peppy Le Pew. Yeah. Man, I would have to practice, but that would be like my dream role to be Pepe Le Pew. Got the suave down. down. Yeah, I know. I just gotta work on the French accent. Got the stank down. Hired. Ray played one of my favorite characters in Persona, the subway announcer. <laughs> I'll it was a big audition. That. Like it was down, it was down to me and Max as Ryuji in the callbacks and Subway announcer. And uh, Max really was going for Subway announcer. Yeah. He tried to bomb his Ryuji audition, uh, but it just didn't work. I, I did a better Subway announcer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tokyo next stop. Tokyo. Uh, it's not good. Well, what is your song? You like? just can't do it. <clears throat> Tokyo next stop. <laughs> That's my one regret, I'll always have it. <laughs> and, uh, over here. Scott McNeil. Yes! Uh, um. did, does your hat actually come off, or is it a part of your <laughs> <laughs> And we have a winner for the convention, ladies and gentlemen. Bravo! That was like the first ever question burn. Uh, <laughs> If you actually lift the hat, you will find there's a small sentient alien being in there with the controls. The hat is actually the persona. I dangle underneath it like tentacles. Man, black. <laughs> oh my god, I saw it. Nor is the hair attached to the hat. I want, I want, it's all just a onesie. It's a cosplay thing I got in the dealer's room. I want the dangling McNeil action figure so bad right now. Mission that we can get somebody to work on it right now. Like hat. <laughs> what if when he takes off his hat, hat, it's like the Zelda open chest thing, which I do. -do, 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 -do. No, no, it's just another hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Over here, sir. Uh, and another take on the first question: uh, Which one of you would win an eating contest? Oh. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Scott will eat anything. Wait, are we talking quantity or speed? Because <laughs> no one's a faster eater. Oh. It's gross. It's true. It's it's gross. Gross. It looks like Scott's getting something out of his bag. Is it, is it a We're not You are in the splatter zone. The <laughs> Gallagher concert. Woo. Uh, yes, you're in the middle, please. If you guys did an animated show that no, uh, nobody has ever watched an animated show, what would be the show that you would pick? Oh. What? On a show yeah, that nobody ever watched? If you guys did an animated show, what would be the first thing you would recommend? Oh, um, I, Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. 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 Bebop by Miles. Bebop by Miles. Wabbit season. Yeah. If you're gonna go old school, you gotta start with the perfect first thing that was ever put on. Yeah. Beautiful. It's, it's about a rabbit and a duck. <laughs> and a little guy who wants to kill them both. <laughs> with a great big hat. That's Scott McNeil dangles from, I don't know. He's a rabbit. <laughs> 
you probably you probably meant anime, right? Did you say anime? Oh, anything. Fantasia, the movie. Yeah. That was my choice. It's educational too. You get classic. Oh my God. Do, do well, then I'll pick Fantasia 2000 to be different from a C. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I would do uh, What's Opera Doc. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. yeah. It's about a little man who wants to kill a rabbit <laughs> with a big hat that's got McDougal Bangles. <laughs> He's a puppet. <laughs> you're the puppet. No, you're the duck. <laughs> you're the puppet. I think uh, I'd go with the Emoji Movie. <laughs> Did you see what? the interviews with the, like, they interviewed some of the reviewers, and at this point it had zero on the tomato, or uh, tomato meter, and it was just, oh, these guys. It was I, funny. I have not uh, said anything bad about it. I'm in it. Uh, <laughs> it was a totally As additional voices, so, you know. Uh, I I play uh, the the poop emoji the his his poop I play the poop emoji's poop. <laughs> you play Patrick Stewart's poop. Yes. yes. Wow. No, that's not true. It's not true. It's not that's true. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> uh, I am I am a couple somewhere. I'm in the background. That is exciting. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Not and lots of us were up for the Patrick uh, Patrick Stewart poop part. I did not yeah. get cast, so so you got it. Oh, okay, great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, as somebody I respect who's got the part, yeah. had to play the poop. You know. <laughs> uh, Two. Sir. Please, for everyone, what would be your class of like D and D character? Because I know Mary Elizabeth, but I don't know anyone else. I'd be an elf. <laughs> But what's your class? Elf is a race. Okay, yeah. what what do I get to choose from? Class is like, oh. class is like warrior, bard, mage, rogue. Uh, what's the wizard, one that doesn't fight people? Bard. 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 <laughs> I'd be a bard. Bards are actually bad as fighters. They're really good. Are they, they really? They do it through, through clever, clever oh, awesomeness. Oh, okay. so yeah, yeah, yeah. Total if I don't have to use my fists. No, like Big B's hand is what you would use. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, okay. Big B's hand! <laughs> I'm a dwarf barbarian. I'm, I'm playing in a campaign now, so so I, I have experience. I'm level four. I would be a human thief. Nice. I'm not allowed to play D and D anymore, <laughs> and I will tell you why. Um, I played. It was a character that I had just popped up, and I think it was a dwarf thief. And blah, 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 so I'm like a very, you know, my our derpy derp theater school, we're playing D&D, &D. this is really cool. I have a lot of nice die. Um, uh -oh. Random weirdness, the guy that was DMing had some character that was basically, you know, the god of his entire universe. He'd spent years developing. He was level eight, over 9,000. <laughs> um, oh no. So I, we have an interaction, I throw dice, and I'm like, I don't know, magic missile, boom, or something, some weird spell that, there was absolutely no way on earth could possibly take. Yeah. Nailed him. <laughs> He's paralyzed. I'm like, what do I do? So I, went, uh, I walked up, I slit his throat, and I ran out of the room. <laughs> it was like, what? I'm like, I can't. <laughs> I invented facial reconstruction surgery within the game to try to disguise myself. <laughs> it was like, son, you ain't gonna last two minutes in here. I was the most wanted person in that universe. Oh, no. I like being a white mage because you can really control the battlefield and if uh, other players are pissing you off, you can uh, not heal them, it's great. <laughs> Is that like a cleric in the new one? A cleric in the new one. I haven't played the new edition. I did in high school, yeah. Is there an archer? Yeah. A ranger. A ranger? Yeah. I'll be a ranger and I don't see race, so... Uh... <laughs> You'll, you'll still be the first one to die, though, and we still appreciate it. Yes. Yes. I, I somehow roll a zero. Uh, <laughs> Someone kill the brown ranger! Oh, no! <laughs> Mighty Morphin marginalized. <laughs> yes. Oh no. So you wake up and you find out that all the characters that you voice in the past are real and they 
all want to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> except, except for one who you have to protect you. One of your choice who you choose. They are real. <laughs> Aren't they? Just a minute. They're what? I see them real. Every day. So no, wait, no, one of them does not want to kill you. No, one of them protects you from the others that are trying to kill you. Mm. That's just what it's like inside my head. <laughs> Welcome to my world, son. <laughs> ah. I would want Puri Puri Prisoner to protect me because he's he's S class. Even though he's 13 in S class, he's the strongest of all the characters I've voiced for sure. Yeah. And fabulous. He'd protect me and he'd want it. <laughs> See, my gut says Spider-Man, but his track record of protecting his loved ones. Is <laughs> So I'm gonna pass. Just, just wear a helmet. And I'm most scared of Krolo. I'm most frightened of Krolo because I feel like if Krolo wanted to kill me, no one in my pantheon of characters could protect me. Uh, but I'm gonna go with my protector. I'm gonna pick uh, Lenka Utsugi from God Killer because he has a laser sword the size of a building, and he's really into protecting his people, and he's got a great track record. That's my pick from God Eater. Yeah. I would totally go with Grumpy Bear. <laughs> Don't mess with him. He's like, Frank, dang him, little butts, when were you, mother beep, touch him, I'm gonna go ballistic on your ass. <laughs> Just because. It's great cheese. Uh, because I think he's the only one who could handle Yami Rialgo, I would want um, Kurama to protect me. Yes. That's the only one that could handle Yami. I think all my characters have died, so that's a terrible question. <laughs> the, only, the only one that I know of that's immortal is, was actually not even from a, a normal show. It was from a, a book on tape called Cashmere the Flying Camel, and I played an entire landscape man. He had a human feces. Yeah. <laughs> this so, is great! I think that one would pretty much take everyone down at some point. Do you have a print of that at your, at your side <laughs> table? I love that. Ooh, I'll take the landscape of human feces. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it right down. I don't know, the major room. Yeah, boring. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> the major. Yes. Yes, uh, I'm down here, sir. I didn't answer for good reason. <laughs> To, um, what, what are you? We know. What? We know. Yeah. Everyone knows. Come on. Circus. <laughs> Circus. What? Circus. No. <laughs> also, I never knew when it ended. <laughs> so there was that. <laughs> Circus. <laughs> the circus would kill us all. Okay. Oh, time. It's like Beetlejuice. It just pops out of your head. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, to all of you, um, which favorite character is the best choice of? Of your circus! Very open and <laughs> 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 The best choice for. The best show. choice of your life. The best choice of your life. Circus. Do it? <laughs> 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 
tonight, I cannot wait to get you in the booth because I don't care what we're working on in the middle of a session. I'll just be like, okay, this is a really intense moment right now, all right? Now, I need you to dig deeper on this one. I really do. And circus! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like an A and B of that one? Yeah. Can I get an A, B, and a C of circus? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I may be able to give you a couple different. <laughs> that seemed like an adequate answer to your question. There you go. I'll take, I'll take that. Oh. <laughs> yep. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Ashley. Nice to meet you, Ashley. Yeah, I'm the one that gave Robbie the uh, choked on my coat. Oh, there you go. I feel like I know you already. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of treats. Yes. yes. Um, my question is, and I'm sorry, Scott, I'm gonna have to make you think a little bit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Uh, voice acting, what do you think you would have done if you uh, were a voice actor? Do you have like, did you have, like any alternative job that you would have thought? Mm -hmm. The mob. <laughs> dead, 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 dead. You are like the rest of you dead. I have no applicable life skills, so. <laughs> I didn't spend my days in small padded rooms screaming. <laughs> I was actually going to be a marine, a marine biologist. <laughs> when I grow up, it's going to happen. We believe in you. It's more of a fantasy, but uh, I would be an archaeologist. <laughs> that microphone. <laughs> oh my God. I wanted to be a marine biologist too. That We're bonded so many really weird ways, dude. We're it's, totally sisters. Uh, totally our sisters from another mister. That's right. But I, I just couldn't math. I couldn't <laughs> There's a lot of math involved in that stuff. You gotta know things to do that. Yeah. You can't just that. bluff. Yeah. Yeah, just bluff it up. <laughs> If you can say the word ichthyologist, you're probably qualified. <laughs> and I went, it's easier to say it than it is to do it. <laughs> well, I was almost very nearly a, a finite mathematics major. Uh, yeah, I tested off the charts in uh, decoding uh, the ASVAP, so I would have probably ended up in the military in some box doing like military decoding, which should have been fate worse than death for a person like me. <laughs> but yeah, like when I went to school, I was taking all the classes to be able to do the other one in case theater didn't work out. Thank God it did. <laughs> oh. And uh, Max has a similar story. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was a pre-med student for four years, so I was on my way to becoming a doctor. Uh, if I didn't fail half my classes. <laughs> I changed my major five, six times. I was undecided, then neuro... Uh, uh, neuro... Ner, ner, what? Nerd! I don't even know what it was. Nerd. Nerdology. 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 <laughs> It was neuro neuroscience to biology to kinesiology, and then I was like, nope, and I switched back to biology, and then I finally switched to theater. <laughs> and I had to make a choice in my life uh, whether to do piano or uh, acting, and I went with acting, but I have uh, 24 years with the piano. I'm 25 years old, by the way. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to be an astronaut, actually. I still do, so hopefully Virgin Galactic can get their uh, stuff together so I can go up and see the planet from zero G. That's a huge bucket list for me. No math, though. No math. <laughs> no math. Was that it? Yeah. 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 Y
that everyone? Get everyone? Yeah. yeah. Next. Well, I'm going to get to say, uh, oh. uh, bring Stephen D just so you can see C, C a Space Cowboy from Space. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm going. I'm going to be throwing up the whole time, but I'm going. <laughs> you better say that. You and, sir, oh, sir. This is a boring question, so you'll all. Oh, well, then sit down. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the past four days? Aww. 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 Me too. <laughs> Why? All right. Sure. New rule. New rule. Uh, well, a uh, new rule is that I can only do it when you guys say it. Okay. Okay. Favorite, favorite, favorite part, guys. All four days. Meeting you guys. It's always... It's, it's, I know that sounds like such a kiss-ass answer, but it's true. You're the reason why we come. You're the reason why, why we're here. I mean, the weather is lovely. It's a little sticky. So we're here to see you guys, you know, and we get to meet you and talk to you and, and geek out about stuff that we love, too. It's really fun. Yeah, you guys know for me, I mean, this is my 11th year. Wow! And if you don't count last year, which I had to skip because I was doing a movie, but this is my con. This is my home con. I usually, I mean, a lot of times I will do one con a year, and it's you. That didn't come out so I came down here and I did you. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, that's actually as close to sincere as I get. That's you guys. You know, being this, this is my first year and I've heard great things about MetroCon and they're all true, except this guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I've heard uh, fantastic things about you and here being my first year, uh, you guys absolutely rock it on. Aww. This moment is my favorite moment because I can't remember what happened before it. <laughs> Circus. Stick <laughs> I'm gonna call you every night. Why did I give him my phone number? Mine was definitely meeting new people, and then this is my third year here, so meeting a lot of you that I met when I had literally one anime credit under my belt. And, uh, and those of you who remember that and then came back to see me, and uh, I, I just really appreciate that. And then there's this one girl, who apparently a year ago, she brought a tuxedo mask pop for me to sign. And I said, oh, it's really cool, can I have it? Jokingly, and she goes, yeah if you give me your Mamoru hat. And I was like, oh, okay, deal. So on her pop, I wrote, I owe you one Mamoru hat in 2017, and then signed it and dated it, thinking, surely this girl won't remember. <laughs> well, guess who was at my signing yesterday morning with a tuxedo mask in tow? So now I've got to mail her a hat. <laughs> And that was both my favorite and least favorite moment of the week. <laughs> Thank you to her. She was great. I'm so glad that I, this is my second year here. I'm so glad uh, I'm here again. And it was Robbie who who was the guy who's like, you should come to MetroCon, and I'm glad I did because this is like one of the best cons. I mean, you guys are so so amazing. So I'm really thankful to be here. <laughs> My favorite part was finally getting to meet uh, Steve Bloom and, and Mary, who we worked on a, a ton of things together. Uh, and um, I, my favorite part was all the times that we did not get to see each other uh, because <laughs> it never worked out in the schedule. But once I, I finally got to say hi to these guys, so that was really wonderful. Yay! It's yay! yay. We, we love that too. We, we live so close to yeah. each other, and we never see each other in town. It's the weirdest thing. We're all so busy running around and working. to the same place. Places, to the same five places. The same, yeah. yeah, I see his but name on times. the sign-in sheet, and I'm yeah. by moments. So. But that's like every con. You might live two miles away from somebody in LA, and then you get to a con, and you're like, oh, we gotta go to dinner. And then you visit at the con, they're like, well, guess I'll see you next year. Like, We're neighbors. Why? Why? Why can't we go down the street and have a bite? So true. Yeah. People think LA stands for Los Angeles. It's the first two letters of lazy. Yeah. That's really what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess yes. I'll never see oh, you sure. again. So, uh, quick question for Ray and Robbie. <clears throat> uh, when you guys were younger, did you play any of the Final Fantasy games? And if so, how did you feel when you got the roles for 
latest one. It's so funny. I know Robbie's answer so well, and he knows my answer so well. <laughs> 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 Do each other's answers. Yeah. Do each other's answers? Yeah. Robbie might not know. You got to do it in each other's Three, voices. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Let me access my deep, sexy voice. <laughs> Oh wait, I just sound like an old lady who's been smoking forever. Uh, no, I know the answer to this. Ray has played through every Final Fantasy and to my knowledge, beaten them. Uh, we, were all, we were talking deeply about Final Fantasy X2 and about how bad I thought it was and how much he loved it. But he had had a connection a really long time and uh, he had a special journey because when he did the demo, if, if you recall, they were, uh, were not sure about the voice that was in the demo. So he called me and we talked and they made him re-audition and he did six different versions of Nox. Because in Japan, they're just apt to go, oh, he doesn't sound like this, recast. But thankfully our director, who had kind of guided him in that way for Nox for the demo, gave him a second chance, Keith, and he said, no, raise the guy, let him re-audition. And then eventually they ended up with the voice that he has now. Uh, but because he loves the series so much, uh, he went back and before we finished recording, made sure that he played every numbered Final Fantasy and beat it top to bottom. Mm -hmm. So he is the legit real deal. <laughs> and Robbie got started as a voice actor because of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy X in particular it was the first voice game that he had ever heard. It wasn't the first voice, as a lot of fans like to point out <laughs> whenever you answer it. Yeah. Um, but it was, a, it was the first one that he as a kid at an impressionably young age said, oh my god, I know I want to do acting, because he was acting all the time as a kid, but he never thought, oh, there's this whole new realm of things that I like to play that now I can act. And you can marry the two things that he loved the most. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and that, that is your answer, right? Did I miss anything? You are correct. Yeah! Circus again because I don't think I don't think, no, 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 no. I don't think we can top that. He's all circus down. Anime or fictional character that scares you? Like if you saw them right in front of you, would, if you would run from them? Anime or fictional character that scared you? If you were a prisoner. Did I say that? Uh, did I say that out loud? Uh, Which Paul's ex-wife. <laughs> the clown from American uh, Horror Stories walking around this morning. Yeah. I took a picture oh. with him. That scared the patooties out. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Woo, that was awesome. He it got was me too. Terrifying. <laughs> I took like, a picture with him and I was just and then he took his mask off and I went, ha, I'm so glad I'm not seeing my pets in front and then scared him. <laughs> uh, the creature from Stranger Things. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, mine's got to be the poltergeist. Uh, <laughs> Nobody knows what that is. Don't know some of them do. Poltergeist? Poltergeist. It was a character I did in his show, Breadwinners. Uh, it was one of the first characters I ever did. And the, the, the poltergeist uh, was a cross between um, uh, 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 the Crypt Keeper from Tales of the Crypt, you know, the Crypt Keeper, and also. Steve Urkel. <laughs> so I thought, you know, Steve Urkel's kind of a nerd and the Crypt Keeper's kind of like this. I made him sort of like this and he became the Poltergeist, honk! <laughs> and that's why I would run away. <laughs> 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 
Ray, what are you creature scared? in Kong Skull Island. Anybody see that? Oh, yeah. That really nasty creature that would come up from... Yeah. And they get huge. Yeah, that, that really... Uh, what about what about that... thing was gross. What about that big spider dude? That was, that was like... Gross I cried on the plane. Oh, oh that, was that was intense. That was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Just trees turn into monsters and stuff? Yeah, I think that was really bad. Oh, man. Next question. Yes. Oh, uh, way in the back. Blue shirt. Uh, what was the weirdest role you've ever done, or at least the weirdest voice you've ever done? <laughs> Poltergoose. Poltergoose, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And Paul's uh, ex-wife. You did Paul's ex-wife? You did Paul's ex-wife? <laughs> Are you kidding? I watched the Poltergoose and her do my ex-wife. That was fun. Is everybody over 18 here, by the way? They are now. Why do you think she's your ex-wife? <laughs> oh. oh. Whoa. Okay, uh, mine would have to be uh, Punch from Cowboy Bebop. Uh, weirdest, yeah. weirdest one I've ever done. That was so great. Oh my God, what was that beyond fun or what? So <laughs> the, lan the, the landscape made out of human feces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, in this business, for me anyway, it's all about how weird the voices are. The first anime I ever did, uh, Project Echo. Yeah. I played not one, not two, but three different women in that show. And that's when I went, you know, one of whom actually was the old broad that smoked her whole life. But the, and I just went like, this is so weird. I was like, oh, it's anime, that's different. I did a show called Sushi Pack where I played a small blob of crime-fighting wasabi named Wasabi. <laughs> who didn't speak, so he was great. He was just like, you know when I went to this, I studied classical theater. Yes, of course you did. It's all weird. I, uh, there was a character in one show called Mrs. Furful. She was like a 90-year-old butterfly, and it was played by Cree Summer. And uh, in that episode, she dies, and we move her around like, uh, like Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> and I was doing her voice, and I've been dying to do my sassy old black lady voice. It's, <laughs> it's all I wanted to do in a cartoon. So I was doing Miss Furful, and she talks like this. She's got a little squeak. And that's just how Cree did it. I did it one week and we had everybody rolling on it because I was like making her a dead puppet. <laughs> I had to come back the next week and they're like, hey, um, it's confusing because you sound too much like her. <laughs> so we need to have you redo it as you doing a bad impression. <laughs> and I'm crushed. I was crushed. But for some reason, I don't get the sassy old black lady auditions. <laughs> so uh, as soon as I do, man, I'm in there. I'm ready. I want a second chance. <laughs> I did a, I did a, uh, I got my start doing audiobooks. I did 150 of them in this two year period. It was a wild time alone. <laughs> alone. <laughs> and of course, if you do that many, uh, many of them must be erotica. And uh, a couple of my eroticas were great. I did one that was a, an Australian zombie erotica novel that was actually really plot heavy. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was quite intricate. Um, and then the other one was called My Fair Highlander. Uh, it took place in... Um... Someone's heard it. <laughs> Scully, you bought it? You listened to My Fair Highlander? It's a trilogy. <laughs> the audio sample was oh. there. Uh, so, uh, the climax of the book, worse, set in uh, 1600s uh, England, Scotland. Um, you, they have to, in order to prove their love to King Henry VIII. Uh, who has to call this marriage sacrosanct for whatever reason, they have to have sexual relations in a tub in the throne room of King Henry VIII, and he, uh, he deems that it's good, and they live happily ever after. <laughs> That's a weird one. <laughs> That's great. Uh, you over there. Yes. From a show. From a show. Meme. Meme. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Probably my favorite meme. Yeah. It's everywhere. On my Twitter feed, anyway. 
No one else? I'm Mine's... so old, Steve's explaining to me what this means. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. What's a meme? And what does any of this mean? <laughs> uh, mine's gotta be pancakes. Uh, just so many. It's so weird. I don't get it. <laughs> but I like it. I love, uh, I've come up with a new recipe of memes. Those are always really good, yeah. I also like, I also like uh, Leo's uh, tomatoes thing. I don't know why that became a thing, but it's a thing. Oh, Anybody, who, yeah, from and, Fire Emblem. And yours, uh, Shut Up Tobin. Oh yeah, Shut yeah, Up Tobin. Shut Up Tobin. What? Sorry. <laughs> what show is the meme from where there's the little dog sitting in a chair and everything's on fire behind him? <laughs> That's a webcomic. I love yeah. that. I don't know what that is, and that has nothing to do with my work, but that just makes me laugh, because that's how I feel every day. It's like, everything's fine. Everything, this is normal. <laughs> Mine would be Starscream with the moves like Jagger thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got nothing. <laughs> I still don't know what a meme is. So. <laughs> you know, you, you like see them on street corners, and, yeah. We've got like four minutes left, so we're going to do a lightning round. Oh, yes. down, down here, please. You've had a hand up a long time. I slept with Megatron. <laughs> I, I auditioned for it like everything else. I auditioned for my home studio. It went through several rounds of auditions and then it was sort of honed in by the, the people at Hasbro. So uh, I just wanted not to screw it up for the, the G1 fans. That was my goal. It was terrifying to step into those heels. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you know. <laughs> Yes. You don't. You don't. You yeah. stop caring. <laughs> you, you don't really get over it, but you use it. Um, I, I, we do this often enough to where it becomes natural to be in front of the microphone. I found myself going in on a, a gig where there were about eight of us in the room. I walked in, planted my feet, put on the headphones. Uh, I tucked the cord in my belt so it doesn't tap anything and make any noise. I stood there and said. I didn't even think about that. So it does become such a habit, you know. Yeah, I said stop caring, and I sort of mean that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because you, if you care too much about it, if you, if you obsess on it, that's when the nerves are amplified. If you kind of let all that go and just do the best that you possibly can do and walk away from it, the audition is the job. Once you've done that, you can walk away and, and move on to the next thing. So that's, that's and, and just practice doing it over and over and over again and just getting over that fear. I think another good piece of advice that I've heard is turn nerves into excitement. Yeah. 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 The, the, if, you, you know, if you're playing like Hitler, Satan, Santa, <laughs> Slasher Claus, <laughs> if you're not having more fun than anything you've ever done in your life doing it, you're maybe not doing it right. Mm -hmm. You know, we play for a living and that's what makes it work. I mean, that's what good thing is, is you, you know, there's performance, there's character and all that stuff, but if you're picking up that the, the, the performer or whatever you're watching, performance of any kind, is enjoying themselves, it's captivating to watch, to listen to, because that's, you know, the essence of charisma, whatever channel you're putting it through. So it's like all that stuff and you, the 8,000 million hours of work, and, food, and then when you go into the room, it's the monkey bars, man. Play your ass off. Mm -hmm. And know that they want you to do well, too. Yeah. It, it's not a bunch of mean people on the other side of the, the table. They actually want you to do well. They want to laugh. They want to enjoy it with you. Because if you don't, then we've got to go back to the casting process, and we don't want to go back to the casting process, because it's a very long process, the casting process, and we'd like the casting process to be over so that we can start to play. Hmm. So always keep that in mind. If, if they're taking a lot of time on the other side of the booth, they're usually talking about what they want for lunch. Yeah. So just have to, that's the hardest part is to stay confident in the silence when you're behind a microphone and nobody's talking to you and not devolve into, I suck, I'm going to get fired. It's not, they're talking about, did you see Game of Thrones last night? So don't ever worry about that. Keep that confidence inside of you. You had your hand up. Uh, favorite snack? Ooh. Favorite snack? <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be circus peanuts. Yo, Metro Con, did you have a good time? Yeah! I'm gonna finish this battle by busting a rhyme. Yeah! If you see us again and you wanna work us, put your hands in the air and yell out circus!
you feel.